everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today a little bit more crafting as <laughs> seems to be the case at the moment but we're going to start putting the things together that we've been crafting over the last couple of episodes. So let's get started shall we. So you can see here I've got the uh, I've moved the crafting table across and it basically it's running through underneath here here we've got some ME interfaces and it's coming into the controller and I moved the controller to here. So here you can see, for example, I'm using six of eight channels. Uh, the six channels are these five ME interfaces plus the terminal there, the crafting terminal. And we've got these machines. And what I'm going to do is put those machines on top of these uh, crafting units. And we're going to do some um, templates, patterns. We need to get some patterns going. And here we've got four channels going out of here and none at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on the top here a uh, crafting unit so we can do some crafting. And over here you'll see the four channels are basically the disc here plus these two um, uh, terminals. So we've got a pattern terminal and an inter interface terminal. I've already got some patterns made up for the pattern terminal and the recipe for those is basically iron, glowstone, quartz glass and uh, pure so it is quartz crystal and actually not too difficult as it happens i've also had to add another uh, i've added here a windmill um and this ultimate solar panel because this was running out at the night time if you right click here it's actually fine you press shift on it it tells you how much power is going out and at the moment none interesting so it usually uses some up now, first of all, we're going to finish off some crafting here. Now, let's have a look at the quests, because that's a good place to start. I want to go, it always starts here. Oh, actually, I've got this bucket, void bucket. Let's make that up, because I actually prepared that last episode and didn't do anything with it. Uh, it's just a bucket and the eye of, um, eye of ender and three pieces of obsidian gives you this void bucket. And I guess the void bucket <clears throat> allows you to basically void fluids. Let's just see if that works. I suspect if it's going to work, it'll be here. So... Yes, you see, it's voiding that fluid. Of course, the bucket's got nothing in it. That's what it's doing. Handy, especially in the, in the nether, maybe. But I do tend to use the lava as fuel, especially for turtles. So now, let's go back to the let's go back to the quest a second and have a look at what we've got here. So if we look at applied energy sticks, you'll see the first quest here is. I've had to go back and do a few bits and pieces to catch up to where we were. The first quest here was charged Certus Cuts. We had to go and find them in the nether. And the reward for that was a handle. Um, let's have a look at the handle. This bit really makes no sense. It's a wooden crank. Now, the wooden crank is then used with a grindstone. So let's have a look at the recipe for grindstone, shall we? There isn't one. <laughs> really weird. I'm going, okay, so I looked up the recipe for grindstone. It's this one. So three stone, one wooden gear from applied energetics. Uh, three certis quartz. I think they could be pure or and two cobblestone. Doesn't work. <laughs> Why in the earth are we getting a, a handle? I have no idea. <laughs> so there we are. But normally you'd use the grindstone to make, um, uh, to grind up stuff to the first bits in order to get to the point of being able to grind to support automatically. Of course, in this pack, we've got different ways of doing the same thing. For example, we've got a compressor here and we've got a grinder here, which is exactly the same as a pulverizer. However, there is one. So have a look, I think I've got it set up on here. No, I haven't. The original way, if you were starting with um, industrial revolution and not starting with um, Tech Reborn as I did, what we can do is you can have a look at here. So, for example, to make a copper ingot, for, for example, in, or plate, what you had to do is to come along here and then you had to put two into this and that would make this copper double ingot. You put the copper double ingot again, then you get your copper plate. So you're using like twice as many as we, we need to. But we've reached that stage already. So that's how you'd have done that. And the first thing you'd make would be a compressor for, for some reason or other, or at least some power. We haven't got a compressor here. So let's build, you see that's copper plates. This makes the compressor. This should really be in the, early on in the, um, in the questing. I don't understand why they haven't done this. So we've made all the rest of this bit before. Let's go and get this compressor and put it down. Watch your fingers. So we could put the compressor, for example, down here. Let's do that. 
But let's take all the pick up all of these machines here. I've got to use the right wrench, shift right click. All right, I've got it to configure mode. Right click it. I think that was shift right click it, so we're in rotate. Then you can shift right click and that'll break the blocks for you easily. So here we've got the electric furnace. We'll put the electric furnace, um, let's put it first. The order does actually matter because these machines do have a default. So shift right click it onto the onto there. What else have we got here? The pulverizer. Let's put the pulverizer down second. And then the solid infuser. Put that down third. And then we can come back here. Now we, we got the cable, we made the cable last time. So this time we can simply take it out of here and break these up again. And that, they don't break with the wrench these. You can't shift right click them. It's just changing the mode. So you have to use a standard pickaxe. And they're quite hard as it happens, as you can see. They're not breaking instantaneously. So now we can simply run these down the back here like this. And it all connects in nicely. So these are still powered up from here. So here we've got the solar generator on the top and on the right hand side, we've got the coal generator. I hope that the coal generator will uh, it'll use the solar power first, but it's difficult to know if it's got a priority on that. Never mind, we'll come to that later on. So next thing along the line here is, ah, yes, I need to make something before we get to that one, didn't I? This is going to be the liquid infuser. Now the, liquid, the recipe for the liquid infuser, let's have a look at that. Now this will be the solid infuser and the liquid infuser is this one. This is also a very important machine. All the same stuff. This is bronze plates, nothing special. A tank and a circuit. Now the tanks are these recipes. Actually, these are steel plates. Now steel in uh, Tech Reborn is expensive, but the steel in um, modern re industrial revolution is cheap. It's basically the same as um, refined iron in that particular pack. So we need two of those, and I've got that prepared over here like this. Huh, I've got enough steel plates from there, but I've probably got plenty of steel plates and I think I'm putting them in here for Plenty is not exactly a lot, is it? So maybe I need some more. So look. Oh no, I'm all right. Two, I only need two. So we've got two tanks. Then we can complete this one because all we need to do is put that like that. And then we get the fluid infuser. And that's a very important machine in this pack. This is the one that starts to make life uh, all tripling and etc. So let's put this down here. I'll put it on the back here when you've got the cable you can put it on the back you see this lights up it means it's producing it's pretty giving power this will now be charged up as you can see so when you run these things for a long time you actually get to a, a reasonable state now the next thing we're going to do actually i would like to do this first of all i'd like to make another quartz cutting knife um two pieces of another quartz one piece of iron and two sticks nothing special uh, should really be a quest, <laughs> but it's not. And this one here is we're going to make a pattern. So the black patterns, oh, I showed you that already, didn't I? It was already set up for doing that. So the next one we're going to have a look at here is the next level of circuits. So we've got, this is, uh, we made nickelite ingots last time. That was just iron and nickelite dust in the uh, solid infuser. Uh, silver plate's obviously pretty straightforward, and that'll produce a Mark II circuit. Let's make four of those since we now have the compressor now i put here in the here this is this one so let's put i just put one as a as a marker so a mark one circuit i put as a marker we'll produce a mark three circuit and i didn't have enough what were the other ones i just missed the recipe for that one <laughs> let's have a look um electron plates okay electron plates are actually no big deal i've got lots of those Sort these two chests over, so I'll get, I'll get confused. So electron plates are also used with a, an advanced circuit. Uh, used to make an advanced circuit with silicon plates. That was it. So we have already got those in stock. So let's just put those around here like this. So with two mark two three circuits, so you can then put one of those in here like that, and that'll make a mark four circuit. That's how you do it. And did I have a look at the recipe that again? Just cover that recipe. 
We did all the bits before in the previous episode. We made these enriched Nikolite ingots. Uh, and lead plates, lead plates is nothing really. Let's have a look at that. So that was a Nikolite ingot with a, an enriched Nikolite dust. Nikolite dust was Nikolite plus um, diamond in the infuser. So it's all solid infuser stuff, this is. Um, and the Nikolite ingot, just to recap once more, it was an, again in the infuser with a Nikolite dust and an iron ingot. Nothing too special as it happens, but you do use up resources fairly quickly. So the next one along here is this. And I think this is, I've got four of those plates up there. What am I doing with this one? Oh, yes, this is a blast furnace upgrade. Um, let's have a look at the blast furnace upgrade. This is, you put this one into the uh, electric furnace and it'll produce a, a, a blast furnace. Let's have a look. Or it'll then be able to work as a blast furnace. Oh, yes, that's right. You need an an empty enhancer and the rest of it stays the same produces this blast blasting enhancer allows the electric furnace to accept blast furnace recipes so this one here the recipe for that is four of these in the compressor and this has to be the compressor we've just built so let's take these four out of here like that and put those into this compressor that's fluid infused compressor this one doesn't work in the other compressors of course it just has to be this particular one Actually, <laughs> that will have gone over here. As I said, the machines will actually automatically feed from one to the next. So we have to change the configuration. So we've made the advancement a pretty plate. So we can put that in here, and now we get this blasting enhancer. We can put that in the electric furnace. That's the first one, isn't it? And then this becomes a blast a blast furnace as well. I'm not 100% sure if you can do everything you can do with that, that, but for the timing, we'll leave it like that. So we've got our machine set up that I wanted to do for today. Um, so let's get on and start with applied energy sticks. I'll be back in a second in the daytime. So here we have got the bits we would like to do. So we need, we made the code processor last time. We just saw my inventory here. We made the code processor last time. We've got a 4K crafting unit, a 1K crafting unit, a crafting unit, and an ME interface, which we need for the molecular assembler. So we've just about got everything in here. I also made some uh, crafting cards, an advanced crafting card, by the way. The recipe for that is diamonds, uh, calculation processor, and some ink iron ingots with a piece of redstone and makes two of these and the uses of these is you can then make a fuzzy card with some wool or a redstone torch makes a, an inverter card so I'm quite sure what that does one I'll be honest with you we'll figure it out later on and this one here makes a an acceleration card makes things grow fa go faster and I put those in in this particular um inscriber i put three in here because when i was making this stuff i can't figure out a way to get it underneath with what we've got at the moment and i did try a couple of things um so i left it like that so we'll do this so on top of this now we're going to start putting the bits and pieces we need so we'll put a crafting unit on top of this for example i think um I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that yet, but I'll tell you what, let's get another piece of cable out just in case that's not what I wanted to do. And you can colour the cables too. Uh, let's have a look at that in a second. No, let's just put some stuff away here I've got. I don't need these just with me at the moment. The rest of it I do need, so that's it. So we can take a die. You can take some covered cable or some fluids glass. Doesn't glass cable, it doesn't matter which one you want to use. And you can put the round in that. So for example, if you put the colour colour die in the middle, we've ch I've chosen light blue, and you just go around that with some ordinary, you'll get these light blue covered cables. I've done that already, so I don't want to do that just yet. And the next one you can do the same with the MX fluid glass, like this, and that'll produce eight of these light blue glass cables. And the uses of those actually as what happens, all you can do is convert them back to ME um fluid fluid ME glass cable. But the thing about the coloured ones is they don't connect if you've got different colours. So it it does have its uses. But for the time being, I'm not going to do that. I've got I've already made some up. And I'll show you what the effect of making of using them when they're made up. Um 
And I've got some smart cable down here. So I'm going to put one smart cable on top of this so we can see what's going to happen to it. Um, we're then going to put onto this the um, molecular assembler at one side, which I'm going to do like this. And as, as you can see, that glows, but it doesn't do anything yet because it needs an ME interface. Uh, basically, you would make a matrix of ME interfaces and molecular assemblers to be optimizing the spaces. For the time being, I've just got one. And on the other side, we're going to put the, the processing unit. So let's get the crafting unit out. Put that on here. It's not active. And the reason it's not active is it needs blocks. You can actually put beside a 4K crafting unit or a 1K, it doesn't make any difference. And then it changes to this form. Now that's a valid form, as you can see. It's changed. And there should be one line going through here. Two of eight channels. Okay, so it's using two of eight channels here. This should be using... Actually, this isn't using any channels at the moment. Hopefully it'll work. So the next thing we would want to do is put down another block. We need to put down a coprocessor because you normally would have two coprocessors. And then it goes back to this form because it's not a valid shape. And the shapes are basically anything that's cuboid type shape. And then we put in a 1K crafting unit. So we've now got a valid shape again. And we can use this to craft. Very important. Um, but obviously I haven't really got a very big crafting unit. I mean, we've got 5K of memory plus a 1K processor, which normally you put three coprocessors into something like this. So you can then form it either by a 3x3 or a 2x2x2 shape so now we've done all of that let's do something useful with it <laughs> so over here oh no i haven't done this yet let's just replace this you can right shift right click this with here with a with a piece of uh with the with a wrench and then you can put on top of that for example the colored cable which i didn't take out of the chest here let's just do that it's a diamond chest And you can put that down here like this. And the effect of this will have, as you'll see in a second, is it changes the color of this terminal. So if you don't like these purple terminals, which actually I don't like, you can change them to being light blue, which for me is much more pleasant color. We can do that over here as well, of course. So I put the two, the two other terminals were built last time into here. So let's just remove these. You only need to remove one as it happens, but um, in fact, we'll just do that. And then these now should change to being light blue, as you can see. So that's that. And now we're going to do some programming. So we, let's put into here, we're going to make two, at least my goal was to make one circuit. In fact, my goal is to do all tripling today. So let's have a look at um, Industrial Revolution. You'll notice what I'm actually typing here. I don't actually type the full word. I don't type industrial because industrial matches uh, industri modern industrialization as well. So I've just picked revolution here. And then we want to have a look at the Mark 1 circuit. This one. So I'd quite like to autocraft this because it's relatively straightforward. So we need copper plates, gold plates, and, uh, and some nickelite dust. Not too difficult. So let's go and post, let's get a crafting recipe ready for those. So we need some the bits that we need to start with, and then we can process that. So in the gold chest here, I've got nickelite dust. We need a gold plate. Maybe we just take two just in case. And here I've got some bronze plates, and here I've got some gold plates. Gold plates, I've got mill one here, haven't I? Five is what we're going to automate as well. So we come along here to the pattern terminal. And in the pattern terminal, we've got our patterns already. I've got four there and I've got another one made up. We did that on camera, so we see that one. And then we're going to make a crafting recipe. Let's change it to crafting pattern. The crafting pattern, if I remember right, there was one gold. In fact, you can do it from here as well. You can type in here, mark one. You have to get it, make sure it highlights. And you can select the one we want to do this one and then you can add it to here and that's the pattern and then you simply encode the pattern into here and it shows you what the pattern is very easy now we want to do uh copper into and oh, we needed a lingot of gold as well didn't we? 
Maybe we've got an ingot of gold in here. Let's just... I can clear... No, let's put those... I was clearing them off. Let's not do that. Let's actually put them into the terminal here like this. And then click the clear button. It pushes all its contents actually into uh, storage. So if we get rid of this now, we should be able to see the, the recipes we've just created. So I'm not sure where they'll be. Oh, here we go. No, that's content. I think I've got this sorted by mod. If not, I'm going to change it. So when I'm short by mod, okay, that's probably a better one. So they're actually at the top. So we've got Minecraft for oh, actually got applied logistics first. So you can see the applied logistics items down here. Then you get Minecraft, as you can see. Uh, and then it's heads of Minecraft, of course. And then you'll get later on. It's a bit difficult. It scrolls a bit awkwardly. We should see the plates. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, because they're tech reborn, aren't they? There we go. So we've got some copper ingots in, in here. Actually, I do want one of those out of here. Let's just take one out. So we're going to write a processing pattern. Then instead of being a... So we change this here to make it a processing pattern. So what we say is that one copper ingot, and it doesn't matter which slot to put this in, will make one copper plate. So we, pro we program that in like that. I'm not sure if we've got any gold in it. So look. I haven't got any gold. Let's go. I need to get one piece of gold. Um, you need you need both bits. You need to have a made version of it. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. So we've got plenty of gold in there, as you can see. Let's just click that and shift it in there. <laughs> and then sort this with the P. The buttons, the buttons change for that. And then we can simply put this as a new processing pattern. The processing pattern this time, we can clear that off. That push, probably pushes that copper into there. So we want one of these gold in ah oh, it doesn't take it that's right creates a um gold plate and that's this one so we know where these two things go they go into the clear that off again they will go into the uh pulverizer now no into the compressor sorry so i can't get these into the compressor into the me interface of the compressor so but we can do that from over here so you can hear, here you see the two things. So this is the, uh, I think this is the, actually I'm not sure that's a compressor, well, and that's the one we don't want to put in there. So we want to put the, the copper plate and the gold plate recipes into the compressor. And then you can scroll down here, and you'll find that we should also have a molecular in assembler, which is the one that does the crafting, which is great. So now we've put that into here, and then we should go down, you've got the pulverizer mark one, solid infuser mark two, and there should actually be one that's free. Or maybe there isn't. Actually, I think I covered them all up. If there was one free, it would say none. It's night time. I'll be back in a second. So now we should be able to come along to the crafting terminal and request a recipe. So, for example, let's have a look at Mark 1. We've got... It says we can craft it. Let's just clear, clear that off. I don't need that in there. Let's just craft this recipe. And we'll say we want one of those. Okay. Uh, it's hard, it starts off with one. We could make two. We probably haven't got enough ingredients for two. And it's missing. And it tells us what we're missing. So we're missing gold and we're missing nickelite. We've got available two of these. Yeah, that's fine. Ex exactly right. So let's put into here the gold. We need gold ingots into there. And click it. Put the gold ingot into there, and then nickelite dust into that like that. And then we probably put, let's put some copper into there, make sure we've got plenty of copper in it, because we're going to be using this a lot. And then we can ask it to craft one of these. And this time it's OK, so we can automatically start it. So we should see stuff coming into here. Now, it might not work. In fact, I don't expect it to work, because in here nothing's coming in. So what we have to do with this is we have to reconfigure it. So we shift right click the wrench to me rotate to configure mode and right click this. And here's the machine input. So by default on the left hand side is an input, on the right hand side is an output. But what we want to do is we want the ME interface is connect it says it connect to ME interface at the bottom. What we don't we want to have both input and output. And that's that particular pattern. You look in uh, I have to look in there now with something else. You'll see it's now compressing these here. These ingots are coming in here like that. 
getting compressed and they will come out as a plate which will then get exported back into the ME interface. You don't even see the plate being produced. And we should see over here, if we right click this, we should see what's being made. So it's stored the it's crafting one gold plate. It's stored two of these, it's stored this, and it's scheduling this. And that should appear in here. We should see the ingredients come in here and make that once it's got the gold plate. I hope that, I hope you can see that actually. <laughs> the current operation, I don't know if it's done or not. So look. Still crafting that. Ah, so the compressors, oh, it's gone through twice. Why? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know why it's produced a gold curved plate because I didn't ask it to. Maybe I've got to do something slightly different with this one. Let's have a look. Maybe I don't need to auto push and pull. I suspect the ME interface will do that for us. So let's just put in another piece of oh, copper. I probably have to cancel the, the recipe. We can click cancel on here. Can okay, we do that again? We need some more gold, of course. Let's just take a little bit more gold out of here. Let's make book four in and see what happens. So this time it's got two craft, one, one available. This is already available uh, and start that. And hopefully, oops, I need to get the right mode. Oh, it's doing, it's doing copper again. I didn't expect it to do copper again. In fact, I probably should break the ME interface just at the bottom and make sure the stuff is actually getting out. This is where we were last time. Wait for this for a few seconds. Now that hasn't come out of here. That's stuck in here for some reason or other. But I'm not sure what's going wrong. I'll be back in a second when I figured it out. Well, that's a bit strange. Don't quite fully understand this. But what I did is I changed this to being auto push, but not auto pull. So it pushed the items out. I don't know how the items, the copper ones, dis didn't disappear, but there we are. So let's just put down some more dirt here. I just broke that just to check the interface here. You can see what's the interface is, the two patterns that we put into it, as you would have expected. Let's just make this mode the right one. Dirt. That's what we'll do. So now we have a look on here. We should see one of these. Now it hasn't worked. <laughs> I've got a feeling I've got these the wrong way around as it happens. Let me just break these two. It's been a while since I've done that, so I apologize to start with. <laughs> so the ME interface first, to put that one down first. And then we should be able to put the molecular assembler on top of it. So in here, we should have the recipe for the pattern, which we have. Um, it is using two channels, which makes sense. This one's using two channels as well. Must be the two co-processors. So we should have four. No, I don't get that. There's two channels used here. So let's see if that's actually going to work and, or not. So everything's prepared and it's not crafting it. So we cancel the recipe and we try one more time. And if that doesn't succeed, then I'll come back in a few seconds. So it's got everything it needs. Let's just start the thing. With a bit of luck, we'll see it come into here. Still two crafting too. I don't understand why it wants to craft yet more of... Actually, I can see it working here. I don't know why it's wanting to get more copper plate because it must have copper plates in here, unless I'm using the wrong type of copper plate. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it does look like I am using the wrong type of copper plate. It's got this one here. So what's it crafting then? Um let's put these into here so it's now got one 
put three in it's now got one oh and now we've got an image interface it must be making the wrong couple of plate let me just check what i've done for recipes so this is sort of a good example of what to do this is an encoded plate creates one oh it's an applied energistic no that's correct i'm pretty sure that's correct so let's <laughs> don't get it so we'll take this one out of here like this this is the result put it back in again take an ingot out of here in fact it doesn't really matter we could put it oops try again could put it anywhere we like could put it in the middle for instance we do the same with this one and then craft this one and make this recipe we can clear this recipe easily enough this is the other one so let's just put this one into the right place But they do look pretty similar to me, so that should be. I think that's all right. I don't see what's wrong with this, I'll be honest with you. Let's try that again. So we would like to make one more of these. Let's just take this out of here and then craft this one here. I'll put two gold plates into the system. We could do that in the first place, of course. And we could put this pattern. Now, the pattern I was going to show you how to clear it off. All you have to do, I think, is just put it in itself like that. Uh, craft it within yourself, and you'll get one of those. This one's modern industrialization. I have no use for that for the time being. So this is This is compressing. And hopefully we're getting the right one out. If it doesn't work, I'm a bit confused because it should work. <laughs> it worked for the gold one, why is it not working for the copper one? And as far as I know, the pack has only got one type of copper plate. So it's stored one and it's crafting three. And they've been done. They should be out of there now. Let's just double check this, break this block. Make sure there's nothing in here. If there's something in here, then we're stuck. Um, this is a bit weird. I don't get it. <laughs> Unless... No, it can't be. It must be the right type of copper plates. Let's just... But I'm not sure what's happening to the copper plates. They're being imported into here. So why are they not appearing up here? You see, it still says craft. And it's put. it's just done three. I don't get what's going on. So where are they being stored? And not in there. Ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Very good example of what something going wrong. Right, so dead easy to fix. Now we've figured out what the problem is. Get rid of this output mode. We'll set it to none. In fact, we'll do the input mode to none as well. So we don't get this problem of um, inputting an output to the wrong place. So that explains that. Thank goodness for that. Right. So, <laughs> let's try this one more time. <laughs> Do we want to craft one of these? Next. Oh, no crafting CPUs are available. We can actually, should be able to see the crafting on here somewhere about. We should be able to cancel it. Um, let's just cancel this like that. And then try that again. So this time it's got three pieces to craft into here in copper and they won't they shouldn't disappear down so as i said it is important that you make sure that that's not gone into there this time so we should have a look at here we should they'll be stored in their crafting so over here we should see things come into here uh, the molecular assembly as soon as these are finished crafting because everything else is prepared and you see it's going up and down so and there we go you saw it appear there fantastic so we actually have got one so it is working it was just a mistake which will probably is probably quite an easy mistake to make as it happens let's just put that down there and put it in so that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it so we've gone through the whole process now of being able to auto craft stuff and i shall be preparing stuff for next time so until then i wish you all the best bye for now